we would like to welcome you all to the BBC Social Rappers versus Poets. Go fucking nuts! Oh! All right, well, get ready to have your mind blown. Go nuts for jo Leila Josephine. Sex was like many beginnings unexpected, but probably quite regular. They tried desperately to keep you protected from sex, didn't they? Protected but neglected to be told the facts about what you suspected so your mistakes go undetected and they don't ever really get corrected and you find yourself completely misdirected because of what you're learning from. I thought love and sex would be more connected and it's definitely not what I expect expected. You first hear about sex with a rumour, a whisper, learning small snippets from an older brother or a friend's sister. You hear the word occasionally being blurted out but no one explains exactly what it's all about until you find that jackpot, that pot of gold, you start to realize that this is so much more than what you've been sold, whatever the jackpot in your family may be, vibrators, lubes, condoms, or God forbid, you actually see your parents during sexual intercourse. <laughs> but every family has a sexual source of knowledge and mine, mine was porn. What are they doing? Is this how I was born? Why is that daddy putting his willy in that mummy? Why has that girl got white stuff all over her tummy? And why is that cheerleader being naughty? And why is her teacher going potty in her face? <laughs> ah, so sex isn't just a loving embrace between two people who love each other very much. It's much more than that. You actually have to... I would quickly put the magazines back in their place, rushing back to my room feeling guilty and disgraced, and I was lucky that I never got caught sneaking peeks at the magazines that my father had bought. They say curiosity kills the cat, and I'm fully aware of that, but it wasn't a cat anymore. It was a pussy. Your bum wasn't your bum, it was your back door. Your front bum, the place that you paid from, it became a place for a man to store his cum. It became a hole that needed to be filled. That's if you ever wanted your man to be thrilled, which it told me I did. So I continued into adolescence as most people do, leaving behind the world that I knew, stepping into a world where I lost my footing, waiting around to be an adult was boring, so I started putting myself out there. I would find myself knees dirty, pulling out my pants, looking in the mirror and desperately wanting implants because I thought that that was my role. When I was a teenager, sex was the only control I had over my life and I was convinced that the ultimate goal and the only way to fill that empty hole was with a cock. <laughs> but it came as quite a shock when I felt nothing. Nothing. And I know it's rare of a woman of my generation to be exposed to hardcore at such an early age, but what's most worrying, we're now at the stage that porn isn't only on the paper pages of magazines that are hard to get, it is everywhere. 37% of the internet, 25% of web engine requests a day, and I'm so worried what of that is simply down to child's play, child's curiosity that they don't understand. Stepping into a world of unknown and dangerous lands. I've been Leila Josephine, thank you very much. Cheers. Give it up for Leila Josephine. Nice, nice, nice.